Hi, in this video we'll demonstrate how to provision a virtual machine called virtual server on the IBM cloud. On the ibm.com slash cloud page we sign into our account and then we navigate to the cloud console. From the console the easiest method to create a virtual machine is through the Create Resource button at the top right corner. Then we are presented with a catalog page where we have several options to search for or navigate to the desired resource type, which is the virtual server in our case. So let's navigate to it in this case. So in the catalog navigation panel on the far left, let's select services, then the compute category, and then the virtual server card located mid page. Now the virtual server instance configuration dashboard presents a configuration summary side panel on the far right where we see the estimated costs updated in real time as we make our changes through the virtual server configuration options. Now the first step is to choose the server type which determines single versus multi-tenancy support and the expected lifespan of the server. So let's select the public multi-tenant server type. Then we select the number of servers that we want to provision. Let's leave it a default one and change the billing to monthly billing, which will immediately update on the summary side panel. The host name, domain, and the placement group will leave default. And then we select the location, the region. So let's select North America, East, um, Washington, um, data center 07. And then we create the resources profile, the CPU and memory. So we have the popular profiles, or we could list all the profiles if we want more granular um, selection capability. So let's go, go to popular profiles and select the balanced profile with two vCPUs and four gigabytes of memory. Now, although an SSH key is recommended, we can skip it at this time and proceed to select the operating system or the image. So let's select Ubuntu. And we see that the latest supported uh, release is 18.04 at this time. So let's pick 18.04 minimal LTS. For now, the storage disks and the network, we will leave it as default. However, we want to change the security group, both private and public. So for private, let's allow all internal inbound traffic. Whereas for public, I only want to allow HTTP, HTTPS and SSH inbound traffic. Now we are ready to create the virtual server. However, first we need to agree to a third party service agreements. So let's click that. And then the create button is immediately enabled for us. So let's click on create. Now on the devices navigation page, we see our virtual server created. So let's expand the virtual server.
and now we are presented with the virtual server's properties. Now that the server is fully provisioned, it shows that it is powered on and connected. Then we have the actions button, which allows us to reboot the server, resize it, power it off, basically turn it off. Um, and we have a few other different options. But now I would be interested in connecting to my server. So there are a few things that we need to do for that. First, we need to navigate to the password section. And over here, by default, we would receive a root user and a root password. Okay, so for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to uncover that password. So if I were to log into this machine, I as root, I would need to provide this particular password. But at the same time, I can create additional users with additional passwords. So if I don't want a root user, I can create an Ubuntu user, I can create a student user, um, assign whatever password I would like. And obviously, those users will not have root access. So let's try to access this virtual server as root. So next thing we need to do is navigate to the IBM cloud shell. Okay, top right corner. Wait for the shell to initialize. typically takes a while. But in the meantime, let's try to retrieve the IP address of our server. Let's go to the overview. And let's look at the public IP. And select it. Go back to the cloud shell. Okay, so we're ready to log in. So SSH root at, and then I provide the public IP of my instance. I need to accept the key fingerprint. And now I am asked for the password for root. So I have to go back, passwords, uncover and display the password, select it. I'm going back to my shell, paste, and we hit enter. And here we are, we are logged into our virtual server zero one. So let's display the operating system version. So cat at C O S release. And it is Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. And that is exactly as we configured it. So now it is safe for us to exit. Exit again from the console. We can safely close the shell. And at this point, it is safe for us to delete the virtual server. So we go into the actions menu. And we cancel the device. Then we acknowledge the data loss. We are fine with that. We want an immediate cancel. And then we select cancel device. So cancellation is in progress, and it will take a little bit for the cancellation to be processed, and for the console to um, sync up with the new state. So let's go back to overview. And shortly, 
the device will uh, be removed. So in this video, we learned how to provision a virtual server on the IBM cloud, how to provision it, how to log in to the server as a root user. Uh, we've also mentioned how to create new users, non root users, and also log in as those users to the machine, and how to delete, remove or cancel a virtual server on the IBM cloud. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.